In A Man Unraveled, Jack confronts the full extent of his losses. His affair's repercussions ripple through his personal and professional life, leaving him isolated and regretful. This chapter delves into Jack's downward spiral, painting a vivid picture of a man grappling with the consequences of his actions, setting the stage for a dramatic climax. Chapter 5 From the Cheating Husband to a Cheated Husband with a Cruel Twist It's strange how life can flip on you, turn you from the cheater to the cheated, from the betrayer to the betrayed. Sitting here in this hollow shell of a home, I can't help but marvel at the cruel twist of fate that's brought me to this point. I'm Jack and I've been a fool. A fool who thought he could have it all, a loving wife and a thrilling affair. But now, I've ended up with nothing. Lily's gone, staying with Eva, the woman I cheated with. And the irony of it all burns in my chest like acid. The days are long, each one bleeding into the next, a relentless march of solitude and regret. My business, once my pride and joy, now feels like a chain around my neck, a constant reminder of the man I used to be. The man who had everything and didn't realise it. Then one day I receive a call from Eva. Her voice is hesitant, tinged with guilt. Jack, we need to talk. Can we meet? I agree. A part of me desperate to see her, to feel some connection to the life I've lost. We meet at a quiet cafe, the same place where our affair began, the place where I made the biggest mistake of my life. Eva looks different. There's a sadness in her eyes, a weariness that wasn't there before. She takes a deep breath, and then she tells me. She and Lily, they're more than just friends now. They're together, a couple. She wanted me to hear it from her first. The news hits me like a punch to the gut. I knew they were close, that Lily had found comfort in her, but this? I never saw it coming. The two most important women in my life. Now together, without me. I feel a strange mix of emotions. Anger, pain, but most of all an overwhelming sense of loss. I've lost Lily, not to another man, but to Eva, the woman I betrayed her with. The irony is almost laughable. Eva's talking, saying something about hope and understanding, but her words are a distant buzz in my ears. All I can think about is Lily, the way her eyes lit up when she laughed, the way she'd curl up against me in bed. And now she's with Eva, the thought is unbearable. After the meeting, I wander the streets aimless and numb. I pass by the places Lily and I used to go to, each one a stab of memory, a reminder of what I've lost. I end up at the park where we had our first date, sitting on the bench where I first held her hand. I sit there for hours, watching couples walk by, laughing and holding hands. They look so happy, so carefree. And here I am, alone. A man who threw away everything that mattered. As night falls, I head back home to the empty house that used to be filled with laughter and love. I pour myself a drink, then another. The alcohol numbs the pain, but it can't fill the void in my heart. I go to bed, but sleep eludes me. My mind is a whirlwind of thoughts of what-ifs and regrets. I think about calling Lily, begging her to come back. But what right do I have? I'm the one who destroyed our marriage, who pushed her into Eva's arms. And then, a cruel thought strikes me. Was this Lily's revenge? To be with Eva, to make me feel the pain she felt? The thought torments me, a vicious cycle of guilt and paranoia. I toss and turn, wrestling with my thoughts until the early hours of the morning, and when sleep finally comes, it's fitful and haunted by dreams of Lily and Eva, together and happy without me. <laughs>